You want to get your drink? I can hold the port down for a second if you want hold to get it down. Hold it down. You know, All right. Water so it. our second episode of the day, because we missed last week's episode. So, of course, for those of you who may have missed it, and you're wondering, hey, what happened to the show? Well, we're making up for it this week. We had to scramble for a last-minute guest last week, and that was unsuccessful. So we had to skip it. But today we got two. Now, check it out. Two. Part of the reason uh, I wanted to start these videos is because I wanted to learn more about business. I'm open-minded, and I know that I don't know enough or a lot about business, but when I opened the gym up four years ago, I needed to become more business-minded. So that's when I was taking all the business classes I possibly could out of KCC, and I'm trying to learn by talking to people. When I do these interviews, I talk to the people and find out what they did or what I can do to be better off in the future, how should I think, things like that. So I don't know much, but I do know that when you're in business and when you accept credit cards, you gotta have a good credit card processor. You gotta have a good merchant services provider, otherwise things can go wrong. I had a little mishap, and uh, the company I was with prior to the one I'm with now, they lost about 80 of my members all in one shot. And it was a little setback, and in the end, it worked itself out. That's but it was a process. True. It took a couple months to get adjusted and to get everything back to how it was and how it was supposed to be. And that was a pro and luckily, I had a backup plan. So you got to have a backup plan. If you don't have a backup plan, things can go really wrong. Uh, but I didn't want to go through that process again. I'm like, you're the credit card provider. These things shouldn't happen. It's like this shouldn't go wrong. Luckily, I had a backup plan, but it shouldn't happen anyway. They're all the way out in Ohio. I couldn't just go talk to them face to face. They weren't returning my calls. It was hard to get a hold of them. I'm like, that's just inconvenient. So I simply had to change credit card processors, and that's when I learned about Card Connect. And everything has been smooth sailing every since, and it just keeps on getting better every month. It's a, it's a program that you gotta look into if you provide credit cards for your customers. If you accept credit card payments, then you gotta get Card Connect because you can talk to these guys in person. They're right here, they're local, and they're the best at what they do. I mean, you'll see a difference in your business when Card Connect is on your side. Jim, what's your story? Well, hey, my story is, is you need it, right? If you're in business, there's just a few things that you're gonna have to go through in order to conduct business. And I don't know, Mike can pretty much make anything really exciting. So that's what I really appreciate about having him on the show. But there's some things that aren't necessarily like as exciting when you have to get into opening a business, you know? Yeah. Like you have to have insurance, right? We give a shout out, Farmers Insurance. Farmers Insurance. We're in the Brent J. Davis Farmers Insurance. We just happen to be on this side today. of town. Because this know? guy we're interviewing today, you don't know where he's going to be next. He comes to you, you don't got to come to him. They'll Ooh. go to you. And I said, where are you at? I'm at Farmers Insurance. So that's why me and Jim are here right now interviewing this guy. Go on. I'm sorry. No, that's interrupt. all right. That's why I, I love having to. you on the show because you mix it up. You know, we have a lot of fun on the show. For you guys that are just watching on the show, we're going to bring out the guests in just a sec. Mm -hmm. But why me and Mike do this is to learn ourselves. There's no success blueprint to having a successful business. Never stop learning. Never stop learning. And this, like I said, what we're going to bring out and discuss today may not be the most exciting topic when you think about But it's an important into topic. It's important. And the guest that we're going to bring on is going to probably make it pretty exciting. He's a pretty exciting guy. He can be at times, and he's going to be right here, right now. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show for the first time. He is Brent. Right. Hey, right. Brent Wright, thanks for coming on. We're here with Brent Wright of Be Right Payment Solutions. Am I saying that right? Or is it Brent Wright yeah, it's just Payment Processing Solutions? Be Right Solutions. There's a lot of ways you can say it. Be yeah. Right. It be right. is right. Don't be wrong. Don't be wrong. Okay, so let's talk about how you got involved with Card Connect, your background, and what experiences led you to Card Connect. Sure. Uh, so really what led me into it was um, you know, managing a business myself. You mentioned credit card processing isn't exciting. And it typically isn't. It's like more like this annoying thing that kind of nips away at your ankles. Similar to what experience you've had. Yeah. Um, most people, most business owners, just get this statement. They look at it and think, "I don't know what this is. I don't know what's happening." Um, and it's more not exciting and <laughs> um, more annoying. So um, I went through the process of switching providers. And every time I'd switch, they'd tell me something, and I thought it sounded great, but then it always seemed like it led back to the same... Uh, same nitty-gritty. Same nitty-gritty and not great. And uh, eventually, actually, one of my friends got into the business, and I thought, finally, good, this is someone I know, I trust. I can he, see a person, he, if something goes wrong, he's right down the road. Yeah, well, different different guy. Different this, guy. This, this, different guy. Yep, I know where you're headed. But yeah, this, right. This, this was Along a friend of mine lines. that got into the business. At least you knew him. Yeah, I knew him. Um, 
And so, and he knows this because we've had this conversation, so he's, he's not going to be embarrassed, but I won't mention his name. But he was in the business, and I thought, oh, good. But then it was seeming to, like, go south again. And so once I realized that, I thought, I want to study this myself, kind of learn it. And then that's when I ran to um, Niles. Okay. And we became really good friends, and I spent, I was kind of studying this area for a couple of years, peppering him with questions, eventually switched to him, and then the, After a couple of years, it took you to switch to him, but it was before you asked him a lot of questions in the meantime. Right, as I was so studying and learning the, wow. the, the business okay. myself, gotcha. myself, I switched to him, and then through that, I kind of kept studying and learning. And that's so I help, like that, others. studying something, kind of like when I was learning how to play poker, I would study right. poker manuals and I would make flashcards and everything. So I think, and there's some books that I read, instead of just reading them, I'll make flashcards and make sure I remember certain things about the book. So when you say you were studying your profession, how did you study exactly? Because it looked like yeah. you were a real student of the game. It wasn't just a job to you, it was something you wanted to study and master. Yeah. So how did you go about studying your, your craft? So, yeah, so something I wanted to bring, what I want to bring to the table, is give people the education side. So like when I came to work with you, right? Yeah. We, started, we started kind of talking about understanding what interchange even is, right? And, and why there's fees associated with acceptance payment. It's like, okay, why does this cost even have to be in my business? And here's all, Tell me about here's it. Here's all the whys, right? Yeah. And here's what that statement means. And having someone you know and trust to be looking at that statement with you to be watching the account on your behalf, right? That way, okay. you know that you've, it's like you're watching the account on my behalf. That right. sounds good. Right. So, yeah. I'm, like when I watch your stuff, mm -hmm. I'm watching to make sure that it's that we're you know optimizing interchange the way it should be. Okay. Uh, that everything's functioning and that it's basically quoted the, and coming out the way that you were quoted. The one to portray. Yeah. Right. So I want it to be my words, not somebody else's. So recap right. a little bit because right. we got new people. You just jumped on the live stream. You're probably wondering, hey, Jim and Mike, they're interviewing someone the second, second time, time of the day. Today. Woo! That's right, we That's are right. with Brent Wright, Brent Wright Payment Solutions. We're highlighting Card Connect. You know, we brought up Card Connect. Our viewers are probably wondering, what the heck is Card Connect? Yeah. You want to do a quick recap of what we're really talking about here, what right. your business is? Yep. So Card Connect is the, is the vendor. So when you accept credit cards as a form of payment in your business, um, you have to have someone who processes the payment, right? So you can't just take the card and say, thanks, you want to make sure that money gets into your bank account correctly. Okay. You want to make sure it gets into your bank account quickly and you want to make sure that it's secure right you want to Big protect time. you want to protect your customers if if you ever you know the, probably the first thing that we talk about is security the reason we talk about security first is because if you're ever breached then all of a sudden it's like why would I go to them they 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 lost my credit card information I go through this hassle call up my credit card yeah. and get everything you know and we've seen big companies I mean Chipotle Home yeah. Depot I mean the big, Target one big, was a big one. Target, yeah. huge, huge ones. And so getting set up with, so Card Connect provides what's called P2PE, point to point encryption. So point to point encryption means that as soon as that credit card comes into your business, that it's flipped and there's no longer credit card information out there for those cyber criminals to take. Right? No so cyber criminals. <laughs> yeah, they're still out there, but they're not gonna, they're not gonna get to it because the millisecond it goes through, you said poker. Yeah. It basically turns into a poker chip. If they do get a hold of something, they take that poker chip and run with it. You can't you can't leave yeah. a casino with a poker chip and paint it wherever, right? Mm -hmm. no. So same yeah. thing. If they get they get they get <laughs> they, they, they get some information, it's useless. They can't go out and buy their you know they can't run over to Best Buy right and grab some thousand dollar TV because their poker chip is That's no right. Good. So security is the number one thing we talk about. Point yeah. to point encryption. That's something Card Connect provides. That's something we provide through Card Connect. Awesome. Uh, and there's not, and if you, and a lot of people don't know this, a lot of people know, we'll talk about PCI compliance. Sure. I, remember we talked about PCI I know compliance. you were wondering about PCI compliance. <laughs> let's, uh, well, let's get exciting. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. This is the exciting part that's about Card Connect Merchant <laughs> Processing. There's acronyms, there's definitions. I mean, there's a lot going on here. It's, yeah, we're throwing some excitement into credit card <laughs> processing. So, so the payment card industry, or PCI compliance, makes sure that your businesses are compliant. And if you're not, then you get charged the fee. So that's Slap on the hand. That's one step. Point yeah. point encryption is a whole nother level above that, right? Because I guarantee you that Home Depot was PCI compliant, Target was, Chipotle, but they didn't have point to point encryption. Right. And that's so that's huge. a difference maker right there. Right. What kind of customers do you attract? Do you take all different shapes and sizes of customers, small businesses, big businesses, or anybody that, that has credit card processing? Yes. What's your ideal client? Uh, ooh, uh, so I, well, 
So ideal client is anyone who accepts credit cards as a form of payment. It doesn't matter how big, how small, how big of a gym, if you think you're a small fish of a gym, big, I, you know, I will show up, take care of your stuff, get it fixed, get it done correctly, and, yeah. and watch the account. So um, every account is, is precious to me. So, so let me ask you a question, because we have a lot of people out here that have their own business. Mm -hmm. You know, they're doing business, they're taking sales. You get this probably a whole lot, and I wanted to ask it on camera. Mm -hmm. yep. How do you go against these processors like PayPal, people are taking Stripe, you know, you got your, your I don't want to say an average person, but you got an average small business owner that wants to take payment on the go. And I get a, a lot of times this, oh, I just use PayPal or I use Stripe. And I know some reasons why you, that's not necessarily the best solution for a lot of people. Right. Um, you know, but how, how do you get somebody that's on this live stream using PayPal, why would they want to convert over to something that you have, which I know is a better product. Right. So, well, so I think you kind of hit the nail on the head, right? Just better product. So there's just more solutions. So when you're when you're looking at, in, in, you know, and there's if you're a really small, small vendor, you just, if you just have a few payments you can get by without needing a lot of credit card processing, but probably the biggest one is, what do your customers want to pay with, right? Mm. So if you're, if you're, you know, there's, I can give you a story of two businesses, similar businesses, We'll just make up and say that they're hair salons. Hair so salons. one hair salon accepted credit card, the other one did not. And for whatever reason, this hair salon got more customers. People don't. People aren't going to tell you that. Hey, I just like paying with a credit card. It's just easier for me. It they'll is. just they'll just go to your competitor where it's easier to pay. Makes so sense. You, you always want to make things easy and, and convenient. convenient. Yeah, That's right. Right. Yeah. yeah. The easier you can make payments. The sooner you can get payments, the better it is. So whether that's a host of payment page, like we set up a link, like, yeah. so Mike, remember we set up a link for you where you can set it up just on Facebook, people pay right there, they go to your website and pay, they can pay in your store, they can do it in a virtual terminal. Yeah, so and it's, it's all nice. about the overall solution. I like calling Brett up and saying, Brett, I got this idea, I need to create a link so my members can have something to go off of, to click on and look what it's all about and pay right there, and he made it up for me. So it's nice to call somebody right here from the local community that can just do it and then show up face to face to show me what I gotta do if I don't understand it all the way. So that's another reason you gotta go local when it comes to credit card processing. Uh, what's the day in the life like? I mean, you gotta stay organized. You're always, every time I see you, you're dressed up. I've never seen you in normal clothes. Maybe maybe once at Jim Cookie's birthday party. But other, uh, even then you were in a suit. No. Weren't no, you? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. This, this, it's is rare. this is dressed up as a yeah. Well, this, I know. I'll tell I'll, I should, I, if I would have asked, I would have wore shorts and a polo. But you're always dressed I'll to go, impress. I'll go with either this uh, black polo, blue polo, <laughs> and that's about it. Yeah, I, I like to keep it easy. I like how the wardrobes usually get recycled with people that are, you know, yeah. out se selling something or doing yeah. something of their own business. Well, I got this from sequels. They recycle things at sequels. So <laughs> I just right. everything I got, I got, I got thirteen shirts and four pairs of shorts at sequels for ninety bucks. So right. yeah, I shop at sequels yeah. and I'm, I'm, I love it. Yeah. Nonetheless, yeah. Well, I, I'm bringing life. wardrobe down. I'm bringing it. I'm going polo yeah. and shorts. Yeah, I like polo and shorts too. Obviously, we like that. I'm I try to keep it fresh. We're gonna do. So here's one of the things that that a lot of other processors, when you talk about customer service yeah. and being local, um, one of the things that I provide is business reviews, right? Yeah. So we get you set up, we say we're gonna do this, and then we do a business review. So my next business review with yeah. you, I'll show, up, I'll show up in shorts. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. Follow. It's more comfortable. Yeah. You know, nonetheless. Then you kick my butt in a workout. You stay organized, because all day right. long you're hustling. You don't stop from, from early until late at night. You're nonstop, always running somewhere. Um, right. How do, you, how do you keep track of all that? Do you have a planner? Do you write it all down? How do you stay organized? Because you're answering a lot of emails and phone calls and seeing people. How do you keep it all organized to yeah. make your day the most productive you possibly can make it? Right. So, uh, so mostly I use myself. I use Microsoft Excel. So I have a complete database with all of my customers, where they should be, um, how they're set up, when my next visits are, when my business reviews are, um, and then everything else is basically, you know, Calendar schedule and plug everything in the schedule. So Tony, in. Well, Tony Robbins talks about you know goals and action, and your goals aren't anything until you actually schedule it, put it in place. It in so that's that's kind of something I've really put into myself. Well, now like this. So getting this set up, I'm, I'm 
I was, you know, I guess now that we're going, that's kind of okay. But I was very nervous. I think that's why I want to. Most of them are the first time. It's always nervous. I'm nervous every single time I do this. Yeah. Yeah. So, but so it's all. I have a little calendar app, and so that's how we schedule this. I sent the calendar app out to Jim. Said, here's what my schedule looks like. You can find it open. I'd love to come in. I'd love what you guys do. First of all, you thanks. We love doing it too. Out promoting. Out promoting. So that's a you know what we're trying to create here is you know promoting other businesses. That's right. Support those that support you. Stay local. I'm local. I would love to have all my business in Kankakee County. That'd be awesome. Now I've got clients throughout the country, but predominantly most of my business is here. Yeah. And that's where I would like it to be. And then because you know, so let me give a shout out to like Rumor Slot. Like they cut you know she cuts my hair. Sure. She's a client of mine. So oh. I'm gonna support yeah. her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Um, Thank you. Right. Yeah, Nicole. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we want to too. We want to bring on a special guest if you're okay with it. Lydia, would you like to make a special guest? We got our camera hello girl. to our viewers. Well, let me here. use the camera girl yes. today. Come on, do a camera on, appearance, Lydia, just, just, just for five seconds. To this, this, this is the camera girl for the day. This is she, my uh, you to pick Yeah, up. we needed somebody to do camera you duties, and she stepped yeah. up to the plate. Thanks for coming on too, by the way. I got the pleasure to meet Lydia a few months back. We were playing at the park, going down some slides. But what I want to highlight here is, you know, look in the frame here. This is local business. This is what we're doing here. You know, there's a lot of opportunities for someone to go out and do a, a PayPal or a merchant processing somewhere else. But, you know, what he just talked about is recommending people and doing business with Brent doesn't just help him get another shirt for the wardrobe. It helps Lydia and his family uh, grow into the community. And that's really what we're all about. So I wanted to highlight there, hopefully pull on some heartstrings too. If you're not doing merchant processing through this guy, give him an opportunity to earn your business. Lydia would really appreciate it, right? How's your summer business partner? Summer going good. Let me do anything fun this summer. What'd you do this summer so far? What's your highlight? I went to the lake house with my dad. Oh, lake house sounds fun. Did you go on a boat or anything like that? In the water, you like the water, yeah, it's fun stuff. What about words of wisdom? You wanna to go to the words of wisdom now? Yeah, I think the words right? of wisdom would because be really good. You gotta be self-motivated. You gotta be willing to not have much supervision. You gotta be able to work without somebody, you know, a boss over your shoulder. You gotta be self-motivated, you gotta stay productive and determined to stay productive all day, every day. So what's your That's determination viewpoint? right there. Dude. Yeah, that's what a lot of them would say. A lot would say my kids motivate me and all that. Uh, let's, let's dig deeper than that too, because that's an obvious one. You know, What is it that keeps you driven to stay focused long enough to stay focused on the task at hand and give us a viewpoint or some words of wisdom on how people can get more done in a day's work as well? Sure, so I think, uh, so first of all, it starts with your whys, right? So okay. and, and a lot of people's whys are, kids yeah um, some of it could be lifestyle right like I love one of the reasons I love doing this and I'm passionate about it is because I felt like I was kind of bamboozled by myself yeah and so I feel like I feel like I'm providing this great value to people when I educate them on something and, and they're probably not as educated and sometimes I do a business review and they're like oh, I don't get it and I'm like shoot I thought I taught you better but that's okay you, um, I guess, I I'll guess, try to get it right the first I guess, time. I guess, you, I guess you get it, but I feel like I'm providing this. So I'm passionate about because I feel like I'm providing this value, right? And we all like provide oh, value to people. It. I know. You, know. you like making people feel better, look younger, and feel better by doing massages like that. Look, you like, you'll be a better you. Yeah, That's you like right. making people feel better by working out and getting in shape. And, but you can only um, lead a horse to water. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, um, so it's just providing value to people, helping people. Provide enough value, everything else kind of falls into place. Provide the value. It makes you it. feel good too. You yeah, know, it's a great. Yeah, it's awesome. Anytime well, you can and, wake up and feel good about what you do, mate. I don't know. It makes yeah. the world a better place. Well, think about. So, look at this. Today, I'm working. Right. We're all working. Yep. And I've got my beautiful little daughter here. Yes. Working. Makes and it more that's fun. That's right. How that's that's. I can't even explain how valuable that is. That is beyond value. Yeah, because you couldn't do that everywhere you go. You can't. So that's no. nice. So it's almost better to work 12, 16 hours a day doing it this way than right. to work 8 to 10 hours a day uh, under, under somebody else's plan. You know right. what I mean? Something right. like that. So right. that's why that's what drives you right. to stay independent of what he does. Well, good yeah. stuff. Anything yeah. else you want to add? Anything you want to tell your customers before we finalize uh, the video here? Yeah, no. So I think, you know, the, the, the things we hit on, I think we hit on most was security, all the solutions that, yeah. that we provide through Car Connect customer service, right? I think you're a client, so you understand the customer service and be able to call someone, call someone who's local, see face-to-face, um, knowing them available. And obviously the last probably thing that people really like to kind of hone in on is the pricing, right? So being able to do it at 
a great price and good savings as well. Well, and one more thing really quick. I guess we should do this as we're talking about this now. I, I, I had, I've had two credit card processing companies now, and I can see a big difference. I can do a lot more with Card Connect. I can do so much more when it comes to keeping track of graphs and to keeping track of numbers, and it just keeps track of more detailed information that really helps me as to what I should stay focused on in my business. And my other credit card processor didn't have that. So even if you currently have a credit card processor, you might want to think about switching over to Card Connect, stay local, plus you can talk to them face to face, and it really is a lot more to offer with Card Connect. But let's talk about what you offer that other companies might not. Sure, so you made me think of something um, that we didn't talk about. So one of the things Mike talked about early on was he had lost Lost about 80 members. Well, they lost track of, track of 80 members, yeah. and uh, you know, I, I got them back. I mean, I, I found them all right away, but it took me a couple months for them to get it right on their end. Yeah. But I had to switch. Right. You know. So it was that. It was that was a bad ordeal, and, and they're not always that bad, but that one just happened to be bad. So one of the important things is, is I mentioned kind of those high flying things, is for fitness centers, for for any sort of business that has recurring uh, payments which might be monthly payments, such as a gym or yeah. um, a salon or whatever, what have you. Um, but we also have what's called automatic, so we can schedule payments to bill. And we have what's called, it, it finds, you know when people get uh, a new credit card, right? Yeah. So that has a new expiration date. This I but, thought was amazing, so, by the way. So our system will go out and find, instead of you losing that customer, potentially, like Netflix, have the Netflix. So instead of losing that gym membership, yeah. it automatically finds the new expiration date and continues to continues to build them. Yeah. Whereas otherwise you're having to call them and say, hey sir, um, can I get your new information? And they say, oh, I'm, you know, I've been to, yeah. I haven't, I or just wait for them to come back in, yeah. which if they're not going to the gym, don't pay your membership. That's fine. Right. But mm -hmm. they lost eight. Well, because what happened was, so my former credit card company, they, they made some kind of transition and switched themselves, whatever company they were using, whatever. <laughs> right. it was a, it's a long story, but in their process of switching my members over without telling me they were switching, right. they, they lost track of 80 of my members oh. for a little while. So that was a setback. But Card Connect is uh, much better, much more smooth, and their system is just so much more flawless, and there's more detailed information you. you can keep track of. So check it out. Uh, Jim, you got anything else? Man, you know, I just appreciate you coming into oh, our office. Yeah. Uh, you know, my last remark about it is, you know, I know we mentioned insurance earlier, but it, it's, it holds true with merchant processing is if things are working okay and you like what you got going on, that's awesome. Uh, but it doesn't hurt to check out another option, be an educated business owner, know what you're doing in your business, and if you don't know about your own merchant processing, uh, you could be losing a lot of money on the back end that you're not be. paying attention right now. Yeah, they, they keep track of so much more, I think you might even make a little bit more money as That's well. That's right. Uh, nonetheless, in my former credit card processor was in Ohio, so I couldn't even <laughs> talk to them, they wouldn't return my calls. Now, if something happens, at least I can go talk to Brent or Niles right down the road. So if you're in the Kinky County area and you accept credit cards, get a hold of Brent or Niles at, at Card Connect. How can they get a hold of you, Brent? What's the best way? Uh, cell number is 815. Cell phone number. 815-600-3379. Email is brightsolutions one at gmail.com. Okay, I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's another Thank second one of the day.